What's up, everybody? Welcome to Blinkers. This is my first uh, video. Uh, this is going to be just some basic Ghost Recon Wildlands. Um, normally, I'm going to be recording with Lady Sinister. Uh, she's obviously not here right now. It's more or less a test. Um, this is a game I, I really enjoy. Uh, I have completed a couple providences. And so, if you don't know how this game works, basically an open world tactical shooter, first third person tactical shooter. Uh, what I love about it is it's you with uh, <coughs> three of the best AI uh, companions that you can have in a video game. So you have yourself plus these three amazing AI guys. A lot of people on YouTube say these guys suck. Oh, the AI is uh, awful, blah, blah, blah. Me, I tend to think they're all right. Uh, I was a big fan of Ghost Recon Future Soldier. For those of you that play that game, you'll know what I'm talking about. Anyways, uh, yeah, the, the four of you are set up in Bolivia to take down an a evil cartel, a drug cartel uh, called the Santa Blanca. Uh, yeah, that one's a little on the nose, I know. Uh, Santa White, but they sell Coke. They create Coke. It's a Coke, it's a narco state. So, anyways, uh, let's launch, see where I'm at. Show you a little bit of what's going on. And uh, in the video, just, you know, this is basically a test uh, for my new channel. Again, I'm Blinkers. Uh, usually uh, make content with um, Lady Sinister, but she's not with me right now. Uh, occasionally, I like to play with Shanked as well. If you guys don't know him, it's you got Shanked. But yeah, you can see we have <clears throat> just the weapon variety alone in this game is great. So the loadout I pack, this is my, uh, my Biatch, right? And her loadout's normally an assault rifle. In this case, right here, it's an AK-12. Uh, you click in on the the right thumbstick, you can get into like first person view. So you see how that works. Uh, anyways, this is a decent uh, assault rifle. It's silenced, of course, but up close they will hear you. Um, then I run a high-powered HK HTI uh, suppressed if I'm uh, close quarters. Uh, anything like 200 meters out, you wanna be unsuppressed with this weapon uh, because A, they won't hear you, B, uh, this game does have a lot of bullet drop. Let's see if I can uh, showcase that for you real quick. Let's zoom out a little bit. Now, if you watch my crosshair, you're gonna see the bullet jump out of the gun and you're gonna watch it drop down okay so red yellow green you guys catch that drop down hitting the water about let's see about three clicks down on if you're looking at the the scope watch it again Didn't see the splash that time. Let's raise it up a little bit. There. You see that? Okay, that's a good indicator. So I, I know you saw that. <clears throat> this one came down. So if you're coming off the crosshairs, you're looking downwards on the scope. You, we're going to count every big notch. So three notches down was water level. So that's how far the bullet traveled and it hit into the water three notches. So let's say we're trying to hit this tree. We're going to aim three large notches above the tree or above this uh, rock actually. Wait for it. And cannot tell. Anyways, uh, this is, you know, my favorite sniper rifle in the, uh, the game. I'll show you a little bit about the loadout. Of course, if you're watching this, you already know a little bit about Ghost Recon. Who am I kidding? But yeah, 
appears to load out. You can customize your weapons, uh, which is awesome. You know, um, you can customize everything from the stock to the muzzle, uh, barrel, magazine. Uh, I still need to unlock the the ten round uh, magazine. It's a magazine. That's right, magazine, not a clip. Don't call it a clip. It's a magazine. So, anyways. The, the military guys will get you. You can you can change your uh, paint presets, which I fucking love. Uh, one thing about this uh, game, if you notice, some of the presets that you use will have worn marks on them, showing you, okay, I use this you know preset for this amount of time. Anytime you change the uh, the the paint or color of a weapon, you want to hold on to it for a little while. And the reason being is that you'll start to see wear and tear on your weapon. And what that tells you is that you're falling in love with this weapon. This weapon is out there in the field with you. You're enjoying this weapon. So at least that's the way it is to me. Um, you guys want to check out the, the AK-12. Here she is. I think it's a beaut. As far as parts go, I think it's a... Yeah, I haven't unlocked. I'm not big on handling. Uh, handling is just how fast you snap up uh, from not aiming to full-on aim. Uh, so I'm not as concerned with handling as I am concerned with accuracy, damage, and range. <clears throat> and this is why. So I'm a stealth player. I'm a tactical player. I like to get in quiet, unseen. I don't like to, you know get in there and, and start a, a bunch of crazy shit. This is why I, I tend to run the loadout that I do. Um, the loadout I run is the assault rifle, uh, s suppressed, of course. Uh, the uh, s a great sniper rifle, suppressed. Uh, you can always take it off. Uh, and, you know, of course, a, a sidearm. Let's see what I'm running right now for the sidearm. Now, the reason for this is always going to be suppressed as well. This is probably your quietest gun. Uh, this is the, the 5.7 USG. Um, it's a fairly decent pistol. Uh, <coughs> excuse me there. <coughs> and anyways, the idea or the approach I take is like, I like to approach a target, get on the outskirts, get in there, recon the enemy positions. Remember, this is PvE. So it's not like you're, you know, trying to get, you know, super good at this game in, in action style to be PvP. Now, there is a PvP aspect, but we can get into all that later. Uh, but for right now, your accuracy represents, you know, how, how much, how quick your aim assist works. Now... <clears throat> I could hear you saying this already, but you know what? In this game, when you when when it gets down to it and you're fighting, you're gonna want that aim assist. There's gonna be Unidad, which is like the police of Bolivia, on your ass, and you're gonna want to snap to those guys fairly quickly, <clears throat> put them down fairly fast. So, like I said, uh, any of these weapons, you could take the suppressor off simply by pressing up on the D-pad. I'm playing on the PS4, and I'll show you how the, the sound of the, the weapon is beautiful. Listen to that. Okay, so the same thing goes with your uh, assault rifle. You can actually uh, press up, take off the suppressor, pop off some rounds. Yeah, the idea of this game with such a round mag, you can kind of, you know, keep shit legit for a while. Uh, <clears throat> the idea behind my approach to this game is always going to be the same. It's always going to be, you know, uh, as much intel as I can on, on the target. Um, I'm going to recon it. I'm going to, you know, drone it. I'm going to pick my targets. I'm going to plan my approach. I'm going to go in either at the cover at night or very, very carefully during the cover, no cover, uh, during the day, and uh, <clears throat> and take fools out one by one. Um, sometimes uh, if I'm working in a team and I'm not playing with Lady Sin or, or, or my buddy Shane, 
Uh, it'll just be the four of us. I'll, I'll use the sync shot feature, which I should show you guys right now. Let's see, you got some skills over here. You got your squad. So sync shot basically means, you know, when you start the game, you have one and then you upgrade the next two, which will give you a total of four shots, including yourself. So let's say I mark these three guys and they're not my guys, right? Well, they'll all be marked and waiting and I'll put my hairs on the fourth guy. I pull the trigger, all four go down, boom, done. Anyways, <clears throat> this has been a you know rough test for uh, blinkers. Uh, pretty soon you'll you know you're gonna be seeing uh, a lot of content of uh, the Division Two. Very excited for the release of that game. Um, I'm hoping to uh, to to squad up with uh, Shanked and, and Lady Sin. We'll have to see how that goes, guys. Uh, but thanks for watching, and uh, plus uh, if you like great if not uh comment subscribe um, i'm telling you this is uh gonna be a blast so all right till next time